That's right. In fact, they said that they've been seeing hundreds of reports of scams just like these. And tonight I spoke with a Severna Park woman who said that she almost became a victim. Lisa Kane recently went online to book a flight to Martha's Vineyard this summer. I was busy. I was preoccupied. I wanted to get the, the tickets fast. She went to Google to look up flights and clicked on what seemed to be one of many booking sites. I click the link. I start putting in my dates and then it says an agent's going to contact me within five minutes. And a few minutes later, that call came. The agent put me on hold several times and then finally got my dates and um, destinations down. I gave him my debit card information, my name, address, all of that stuff. And he said I would be receiving an email shortly with the confirmation and all of my flight details. Kane said the price came to nearly $600. She waited a while for a confirmation email, and after several calls, she eventually got this email, but noticed that there was no flight or confirmation number, and that's when she started to worry. I contacted my bank right away, and luckily, um, I got my debit card shut off. We tried to go to the website she gave us, and nothing came up. Clay Campbell is with the Better Business Bureau of Greater Maryland. He says there were two good things to look out for. So a misspelled URL is something to look out for. And also the uh, lock in the top left corner of that website might not be there. When you see a lock on a website, you know that that website is secure. Kane said she noticed other red flags, such as improper grammar on the email. She's hoping that others are more careful. Take your time, be careful, know what site you're on. Um, just make sure it's a legitimate web page because this one was pretty tricky um, and it almost got me. And when in doubt, you should go directly through the airline's website and several airlines actually have tips and suggestions on their websites on ways to prevent you from becoming a victim. Reporting live in front of the Better Business Bureau of Greater Maryland, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL TV 11. News.